The March 2, 3,000 subscribers continues here at Tennessee Titans. Today, we are now less than 300 away. And if you want more videos, including almost all of them focused in hard on the NFL draft, hit that big red button and subscribe for free at youtube.com slash Titans today. This is Tennessee Titans Today by Chat Sports. I am Tom Downey, and today's video is a look at some updated round one draft targets for Tennessee. Now, when it comes to round one, I think there are two areas to really lock in on. That's wide receiver and offensive guard. I love a tight end, but a little early for Trey McBride and others. Running back is depth. Linebacker is depth for me. Other positions, you could add a player, but again, you're looking more in that depth range. It's good to be light on true needs for Tennessee uh, because you have no second round pick, so that makes sense. I got a long list of guys I want to discuss, but first, I want to hear from you guys. Name a player who you think the Tennessee Titans should draft in round one. Let me know in the comments section. We begin with the wide receivers because those are the sexier positions than, say, offensive guard. The big five, right? Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Drake London, Traylon Burks, and James Williams. At some level, we've talked about all, all these guards at some or guys at some point earlier on a previous video. Of these five, the one I feel least confident in being there is certainly Garrett Wilson. I think he's the best one of the bunch. I think he goes top 10, top 15. Olave could be there. He's a great route runner, but not much after the catch. London's got some medical stuff. Could help him drop there. Traylon Burks would be fun as a kind of a after-the-catch specialist. Thrives in that area. Kind of like a almost bigger A.J. Brown. Not quite as athletic, though. And Jamison Williams is a speedster. I would love to get one of those five guys in Tennessee. I will say this, though. There is a very real possibility of an early run on wideouts. I would not be shocked, although I bet one would still be there, if all five of those guys are off the board by the time the Titans actually get on the clock. So some sleeper wideouts who could go in round one. Christian Watson's got some round one buzz. I get that from the sleeper perspective, but also no, not ready yet. Jahan Dotson has had previous round one buzz. I kind of think he goes round two. The name to really watch here is Sky Moore out of Western Michigan, who is a fantastic route runner and overall I think is very much an undervalued receiver. In the same way, not, not comparing their skill sets, but in the same way I thought Debo was a little bit undervalued and could go in a similar range because the NFL does not undervalue him in the same way that media do, does, whatever it is. So when it comes to receivers, the Titans draft one in the first round, or would you rather wait until round three or even trade down in round one, something along those lines? Let me know in the comments section. Why for yes, you want to draft one in, in the first round, and for no. This is going to be the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Why for yes or and for no. I mentioned offensive guard, namely left guard, as the number one need for this team. And either of these guys I think would be strong picks by Tennessee. That's Zion Johnson out of Boston College and Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M. Johnson's a fantastic athlete, great sustainer of his blocks. He finishes well. Not as good in pass protection. He played some left tackle too. Wasn't great. Kenyon Green is more of your power guard. Uh, not that he is a bad athlete, although he only tested okay. Great length, has the power, played all over the offensive line. These guys are 1A, 1B, and frankly, whatever order you want them when it comes to the number one guard in this year's class. So you're going to play Dylan Raidens at right tackle, which is my operating theory for now. One of these guys would be a plug-and-play starter at left guard, and you'd feel pretty good about your offensive line in that scenario. Maybe you want to get wild, and had you not re-signed Ben Jones, this would have been a very popular mock draft pick. That is Tyler Linderbaum. He could be there for you in round one. You sign Ben Jones. I don't know if you want to try to play Jones at guard because I don't think Linderbaum can play center, to be honest, folks. So that the positional value and the need makes this pick less likely, although I don't think he's there. He shouldn't be there. He's too good of a player as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you want to try Dylan Raidens at guard or you're out on him altogether, Bernard Raymond could be your option in round one. Now, he's Turns 25 as a rookie. That's a lot older for a guy who's played two years of tackle. But for only playing two years, he is quite advanced. And that does carry value. So that indicates quick upward rise in terms of his talent and, and development and all that stuff, although not a guarantee. But he's also old. 
He's a left tackle for Central Michigan. I do like him a bit better on the right side, but he's a great athlete. So kind of some contradictions in there, and now you see why I don't love him as a true round run grade, but also why he could be there for Tennessee in the first round. You're not going to get a Trevor Penning, a Charles Cross, a Neil or Iguanu, by the way. So Raymond kind of defaults to offensive tackle five, I think, as the consensus big board. Now, if you want more Titans offseason coverage, you guys have come to the right spot. We want to keep doing videos for you guys, but we do need you guys to subscribe to us here at Tennessee Titans today. Hit that big red button and join us for more videos each and every single day. The, if you look at like some of like the, the mock draft aggregators, uh, this is the most popular pick for Tennessee. I don't agree with it. Uh, I actually love N'Kobe Dean, the prospect. A high impact this past year, 72 tackles if you include the national title game, by the way. Six sacks, 10 TFLs. He's a great football player. He's undersized, but elite instincts. The reason why I don't like this is, is linebacker the biggest need? Uh, you got David Long, right? You kept Zach Cunningham. You, uh, you drafted Monty Rice last year, another Georgia guy, by the way. So, do you need a linebacker? No. I don't think it's a top need. Now, I will say that N'Kobe Dean's size will hurt him for some. In fact, it is not a, sh a lock that he's even the first or second linebacker off the board. Dark horse is Quay Walker from that standpoint, the other Georgia linebacker. There's also Channing Tindall. But I could see Walker sneaking in the back end of round one. We're focused on the big name, right? I'd be surprised if they reached for a lesser linebacker. Devin Lloyd could be a good fit if you want to go that route. Bigger body, bigger frame, more typical linebacker size. Did not test elite this past year, or at the combine, I should say, but he was all over the field. Look, look, look at these numbers, man. 22 tackles for loss. Are you serious? And it's like he's playing against FCS. That's, that is Pac-12 production. That is obscene impact from Lloyd. I think Dean's instincts are better. He did not do any drills at the combine or the pro day. I think he's a little bit light in the pants and added some weight to make it feel better, to make teams feel better, but he wasn't going to run that well. I don't care that much. He's got the athletic ability that I covet and the instincts more than make up for maybe not having the best top end juice. He's so instinctive. He's moving before all the other Georgia linebackers are moving. That That's a great, like it's so obvious to compare those guys who reacts first? It's Dean. So if you want a linebacker, those are good players. I just don't think linebacker is the biggest need for Tennessee. Now, tight end is a need for Tennessee. I don't want to take Trey McBride in round, round one. I don't think that's the right value. I got a second round grade on him. Yes, he was productive. I'm also confused as to how a player with 90 catches and over 1,000 yards had one touchdown. Super weird, but he ran well at his pro day. The numbers are juiced, but still ran well overall. If you trade down to the second round, I'm intrigued. But I don't think McBride is truly a top 25-ish player. I think there will be top 25 players on the Titans board at a position of need when they're on the clock. The dark horse side of it here is the quarterbacks. And I don't think Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis are there. Who knows? It's the NFL draft and QBs. There could be one guy taken or four guys taken by the time Tennessee's on the clock. So there are three names because Carson Strong's got medical stuff, and I don't think he's interviewed very well, by the way. Are Sam Howe, not in round one, no. Matt Corral and Desmond Ritter. And I think Ritter's pretty smart. I think his pre-snap is rather evolved compared to most QBs this year. Certainly more than Matt Corral, because Matt Corral operated on a half-read offense, a, a, a Mickey Mouse offense. He and Sam Howe both ran those offenses. Works great in college, not great for transitioning immediately to the NFL. He'll need some more time there. The shocker would be QB in round one for Tennessee. I don't love the class. Back end of round one, it's not that bad of a reach, but you got to feel really good about one of these guys. And all three of these guys have very real traits and very real flaws. You shouldn't feel anywhere as comfortable as these guys as he did even with about, about Mac Jones last year. Because of that, it's a concern. So QB in round one would be a bit of a surprise, but it'd be intriguing. Make no mistake about it long term for Tennessee. So what do you guys think is this team's biggest need? Is it getting a new franchise QB? Is it offensive guard like I think? Let me know right now in the comments section.